Hello my dear friends, today we are going to learn a very very wonderful question from the chapter limit in mathematics and this will tell you how to apply the tricks to solve limit to find out the limit of a, any question you know or any algebraic expression where you know you generally get a zero form in the denominator right this question is asked by a beautiful friend from Saudi Arabia Salma Q20 that's her username anyways so let me take you to the question we have two questions here limit x tends to negative 4 x square minus x minus 1 divided by x plus 4 all right this is the question so in this question if I'm going to insert x as a negative 4 directly here then I'm going to get you know it will be negative 4 plus 4 that is 0 so in denominator whatever you have if you're going to get 0 you know in denominator so that's called indeterminate form you know undefined form and we're not allowed to get 0 in the denominator that is not existing in the real number system all right never we can get 0 in the denominator so we have to walk anyhow before applying before inserting this x as a negative 4 into this expression so that we want to get 0 in the denominator in exactly in the similar way in the second question also we have you can see if I'm going to insert x as a 9 in denominator here then this 9 minus 9 I'm going to get 0 all right so if I'm going to get 0 I already told you that is not existing in real number I mean we don't uh, learn this in real number mathematics so uh, this is indeterminate form you know undefined form right so we have to work on on this this stuff like anyhow we have to uh, remove the zero from the from the denominator after applying this uh, after inserting this x or or this x anyhow all right so what are the tricks I'm gonna tell you that in just a second all right so see here see I can't work in this we know that very well so what I saw here in numerator, I got a clue, you know. First I saw here minus 20 and then I saw here x squared. So I, I, I literally I'm telling you, I exactly I hit on a point that it's a quadratic equation and if it's a quadratic equation, then I can easily factorize it into the two factors. All right? I don't know what will be the factors, but it may be like x plus a or like x plus b, something like this, you know, I can factorize this. And while factorizing, I may get an expression as x plus 4. All right, so that is what I want, you know, anyhow I want to solve it. So I'm just going to factorize this, you know, and I'm sure that we'll get one expression with x plus 4 because, uh, you know, minus 20 is factor is 4 also, all right. So I'm just going to do that right now. Limit x tends to negative 4 and now we can uh, we can solve this by various method we can we can factorize this by various method but I'm going to do by factorization by middle term splitting, all right. So it's x square minus x minus 20, right? So x square minus. Uh, now let me tell you something. You know, whenever you're going to do middle term splitting, I know you you might be knowing or not. I don't know, but uh, I want to tell you here this. How how do you solve this generally? Always always you know this type of thing you need to compare with ax square plus bx plus c and c. This is a and this is c. So product of a and c and b. See here b. So you need to find out two numbers, let's say b1 and b2. So product of those two numbers should be uh, product of a and c, which is here, this is 1 and this is minus 20, which is here, which is here, 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 minus 20. And b, you know, it's middle term, middle term is here for this equation, we have minus 1, all right. So we need to find out two number whose product, you know, whose product is minus 20 and whose addition is minus 1. So what are those two number, all right, whose addition is whose addition is minus 1 and product is minus 20. Okay, let me think. My brain is moving. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so, uh, minus 20 can be like 2 times minus 10 or it can be 4 times minus 5 or it can be 1 times minus 20, all right? So, which is perfect here? You need to choose now. You can easily figure out, see here. If you're going to add 2 and minus 10, you're going to get minus 8. But if you're going to add 4 and minus 5, you're going to get minus 1, which is here. It means this is this is what we need all right so we got two numbers now simply it's a uh, x square minus 5x plus 4x you know and minus 20 and then divided by whatever it is in the denominator just write that x plus 4 all right once you understand it's very easy you know limit x tends to negative 4 and now see i can take common here something it's x here and here x so x when i will take common it will be x minus 5 and again it's 4 and it's 20 you know and 20 is actually 4 times 5 so 1 4 I'm going to take common so 4 outside and now it's x minus 5 divided by x plus 4 
And my dear friend, further you see something is there. Yes, that is x minus 5 and x minus 5. So limit x tends to negative 4. And now I'm going to take x minus 5 common outside. And I'll be left with this x and then plus 4 divided by x plus 4. And see here, you can easily cancel this x plus 4 and x plus 4. So our question is turning as limit x tends to negative, negative 4 and it's x minus 5. Now you can easily insert this x as a negative 4. So it's going to be negative 4 minus 5 and our answer is minus 9. So this is how we need to solve it, all right? I hope you understand this question and let's walk on now in second question. Our second question is limit x tends to 9 root x minus 3 x minus 5. Uh, how to solve this? Hmm. The trick is here. 3 and 3. So what did you figure out? Square of 3 is 9. And square of root x is x. You know, root x square is x. So it, this is just like, you know, a square and then b square. And the formula of a square minus b square, you know, very well, that is a minus b times a plus b. You know, this is the identity, algebraic identity that you have learned. So this is exactly the thing we're going to follow. So a minus b will cancel up with this, you know, if you compare with that. Okay, so let's solve it first. x tends to 9. All right, let's write numerator as it is. And in denominator, I'm writing x as a root x whole square. Because we know that uh, root 2 square, you know, root, root 2 square is 2. So root x square will be x definitely. And... So that's why it's root x square and now 9 is 3 square. So a square minus b square. So it will be a minus b, a plus b. All right. Keep that in mind. So I'm going to write here root x minus 3 and root x plus 3. Okay. It's root x minus 3 in the numerator and our limit was limit x tends to 9. Now you tell me what is the next step? Yes, everybody know to cancel these two things, you know. So we'll get one time. And then our question is turning very simple. x tends to 9, 1 over root x plus 3. And now without any hesitation, without any fear, without any, you know, whatever, <laughs> you just insert x as a 9. So you're going to get 1 over root 9 plus 3. And that's 1. And 9 is the square of 3. So it's 3 plus 3. And it's 1 over 6. And that's our answer. All right. I hope you understand, my dear friend Salma, Q20 and other friends also who are watching this video and similarly you know you may have to apply some tricks so try to see uh, the question uh, properly try to analyze it is there any relationship or something like that you know i first you know in this question i first find a relation like it's four is uh, you know, four times five is twenty and you know it's a quadratic equation so factorization it came in my mind so that we can we can cancel it as a factor you know and similarly here i found out it's nine is a uh, square of 3 similarly x is a square of root x so this is how you need to find out the clue you know try to get the clue once you get the clue the question is going to be very very easy to solve and to figure out the limit of that that question uh i believe you understand this if there is any question or anything and feedback and please 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 do commenting below this video i will be really really happy like this video and subscribe this channel and i wish you a very very wonderful day goodbye